The fabled Voss. A few overblown words and everybody rushes to one tiny little planet. Even us. Hopefully these mystics will be interested in joining us. It turns out both the Republic and the Empire believe these stories. They're competing to sweet-talk the Voss into an alliance. The Jedi Council should lead the negotiations. Apparently Voss upsets the Council's sensibilities. It calls the mystics Grey Force users. An ideological quibble. But it means your Council isn't lifting a finger to assist the Republic. There's a Republic ambassador in the Voss capital who might help us. Sophia Farish. Perhaps she could get us to the mystics. One must listen in order to learn. Fine, then listen. But we're not here to indulge your curiosity. We need soldiers and allies. Watch yourself. Remember, if you pursue the mystics, you'll be right in the Empire's way. The Arte Fulquamas, Limis Galigal, Zraben Jigiawa, Magoriest Kiberu Giasnu. I'm happy to give you the chance again, Hala Voice. Garf Kyodian, Ties Ziti Kormini Kiest Madwa. Kabiest Mechetur, Janur Kriske Indi Jorkiest Meta. I can scarcely imagine such a cataclysm. The Arte Fulquamas. Limis Galigal, Zwekie or Afar Giet, Tagmak Torst Hital, Getiet. When we speak of such things, we use the word abomination. Otra, Ratieske Tot, Kabiest Mechetur, Janor, Griske Indi, Jorkiest Meta. Could your brothers ever cooperate with other races like you? Zekian Actest Vertin Huni Tikmen Kitieb. Plesmiet minlija ta il taya. Kawe mahue jelu kolost je hafne sinjestka. How do you intend to lead your people once we face the Empire? Jirestre bojest kadorst diest tietko madwar. Ah, foka tamitre ingebrest bies jara karestia. Hem hefne. May we speak? We have questions. Your Republic is unknown to us. Why have you come to Vos? We wish to understand your people's unique connection to the Force. This isn't a matter we are familiar with. And the Empire? What do they seek on Vos? The Empire will try to twist you into something you're not. Something evil. Then we should avoid them. The three will guide us, as they always have. But we will remember your words. And of course, the Voss were delighted when we bloodied those Gormak savages. Imperial training, you see. How lovely. But my guest has arrived, so you may leave. Of course. I'm sure one Jedi will make all the difference. My apologies. He tests a kitten axe, Patience. Sophia Farish, Republic Ambassador. What brings you to Vos, Master Jedi? Several worlds have united to fight the Empire. And we would like the Vos mystics to help us. You... what? I... I should explain. Sith Lords have taken entire systems to war to gain a single mystic healer. One mystic visionary can change Voss culture with... with a word. And you want them as soldiers? How can one person wield so much influence? No mystic's prediction has ever been wrong. It's the foundation of Voss society. Please understand, mystics are rare. Only a few are born in a generation. And with the Gormak tribes expanding, there's even fewer. It's become too dangerous for potential mystics to go on pilgrimage and finish their training. Surely the Voss would be grateful if someone protected these young mystics? The Voss are irrational about interference with the mystics, though they might be more accepting of a Jedi. 
And if they saw you help a potential finish his training... But it's long odds. Only one in a dozen actually becomes a mystic. If the Force is truly with us, failure is impossible. I hope you were right. Now, Athel J is gifted, but hasn't studied much, and he and Sa is sympathetic toward the Empire. Or, there's Gate and Co, an acquaintance of mine, a potential visionary. If he becomes a mystic, he's entitled to a huge entourage, including healers and Voss commandos. I will speak to him. Havran, please book a room at Bastan's tea house and send an invitation to Gaden Co. Sorry, Madam Ambassador. Gaden Co left Vaska with his family group this morning. He's gone without a real escort? They'll be killed out there! Jedi, you have to go after them! He will have gone to the closest holy ground, a cave below the mountain. Oh, wait. The ritual. Before you enter, cut branches from these trees here and here. Their scent will make you pure enough to walk the holy ground. If that's what it takes to reach Gaden Ko and his family. Be careful. Away from Vaska, the Imperial's manners tend to deteriorate. A Jedi? My thanks. My family was not enough protection. All happenings are necessary. Still, their deaths trouble me. Your family is not lost. They have returned to their source. Beg pardon? Source? It means your family's all right. They're not suffering anymore. These deaths have a purpose. Pilgrimage would have revealed it. My journey ends. My family gone. Holy grounds defiled. An outsider trespasses. I came hoping to accompany you on your pilgrimage. A Jedi protector exceeds a commando skill. You're an outsider. Can I trust someone, not Voss? On my honor as a Jedi Master, I swear you can trust me. You may accompany. When I become mystic, you shall witness my visions. What's next for us? I go to Novice's Hall at the Shrine of Healing. The healers will be honored to teach me. First, a marker on the pilgrimage path. I pay homage to Li Shina. Gaden Ko, your family should be laid to rest before we leave. I will send word. Time is short. Pilgrimage will explain this. You leave first. Call on your device if it is safe. I follow. The pilgrimage path awaits. Here, the heart of Lishina's marker. A step on your journey is complete. Ruins were built by Lishina and family. A symbol. Mystics are supported by all. Something is improper. Ah! Idiot boy. A perfect strike ruined by a centimeter. No matter, that scratch will finish you soon enough. Get away from Gaden Co. or you'll answer to me. Predictable arrogance. There were whispers in Voskar of a Jedi stupid enough to escort a young mystic away from the city. But when they hear the brat died in your care, the Voss will see the Republic very differently. You will not force the Voss to follow your path. It's already too late. The toxin on that blade was an exotic Republic compound, as any investigation will show. Even a drop is eventually fatal. The destiny of the Voss is to join the Empire, and it is you who have made this possible. Think about that as you die. You fight admirably for a Jedi, but not even the Voss can save your Republic. You are dying. Release your hatred. Feel the sanctity of this place. So naive. But I feel calm. <clears throat> My wound freezes. Burns. Unless you return to Voska and explain what happened, the Empire will have its victory. The Shrine. Take me to the Shrine of Healing. You mustn't die. 
Jedi, can't you do something? The Shrine's healers. Please, be sure it is safe. Then call. We go. Outsider, you are not Gaiden Ko. What happened? It doesn't matter. He needs medical attention. Come, Gaiden Ko. To the healers. The Shrine is not for you. I should stay with Gaiden Ko. There may be another attempt on his life. The Shrine is guarded. The Trials protect the upper levels. They're for mystics. I honor your traditions, but I must get inside. Only those who respect our ways enter the Trials. Suva Rock at the Pilgrim's Camp can explain. I will inform Gaiden Ko if you die. I am Orin Va. Ashamu. Gaiden Ko is our patient. You acted quickly, but the poison eats at him. We require another of great mental or physical strength to purge it. If there's anything I can do for Gaiden Ko, just ask. We need you. Healing takes life from one to save another. Painful, survivable. You appear worthy. Your friend also seems worthy. Gaiden Ko is fortunate. Will you take the risk, outsiders? We have to do something. I accept the dangers for Gaiden Ko's sake. Gaiden Ko grows weak. Outsider, be prepared. We begin. on pain, Jedi. What precisely are you? I belong to Gaiden Ko. I am the part of Gaiden Ko that suffers and must be healed. Pain feeds on pain. You know this from battling the Empire. So how does one cope with the Tyrant? Or the Scalpel? Resisting the Tyrant reveals his weaknesses. Enduring the scalpel leads to healing. Yes. Endurance leads to insight and strength. Your understanding will make this exchange easier. <laughs> the treatment is complete. Gaiden Ko's recovery begins. It's over. You should take a minute before we go anywhere. Impressive. Gaiden Ko is stronger for this. Here, to aid your recovery. Leave when you wish, outsider. Go well. I am improved. My attacker's weapon. Another Jedi? No. He was a Sith Lord, corrupted by the dark side of the Force. I saw you ease his death. It's what makes us better than the Empire. My journey is not right. My vision should begin to make me wise. Every Force-aware culture has trials. Perhaps this is how the Force prepares a mystic. Your Force is yours. I am Voss. Enough. Pilgrimage. I must contemplate a stone carving at the Holy Grounds. A potential who contemplates receives a sign. Guidance. I will need protection. I promise you will not be harmed again. The carving was broken. First we gather the pieces. I speak with healers. Go, rest. Call on your device when all is ready. A sign to guide me. Soon my first vision. I contemplate the carving for a sign to guide me. Shards are one. The pattern is. is. no vision or sign. Improper. Insights come in their own time, not at our convenience. I have waited. A shelter we. Gate and Coal? Unescorted? I assure you. Gaiden Ko is quite safe. Do not say, Captain Voss Commandos. Our mission in jeopardy. We had to retreat. 
Aiden Cole. Your intuition would help. No. I await a sign. Your role will be serving the people. Begin with these commandos. I will serve as visionary, not... I listen. For now. My sign waits. The Gormak mine are crystal outcropping. Crystals for mystics. The Gormak use the crystals. Tame beasts improve them for war. It must stop. What do the Gormak do to these creatures once they're tamed? Beasts are fitted with machinery. Crystals must be reclaimed. The Gormak have an army. We need help. Hunting Gormak. Proper use of my intuition. We can stop Gormak patrols. Their mining operation remains. I have few men. You are skilled. The Gormak will be prepared for Voss commandos. Not a Jedi Master. We in Gaiden Cole will distract most Gormak. More guard the mines. Do this, please. We will meet you here. Gormak withdraw. We fought seven patrols. Are the crystals safe? Yes. And I believe this rightfully belongs to your people. This is for the Tower of Prophecy. Two commandos vanished. Gaiden Co's tuition saved another. Something hunted us. Not Gormak. A potential mystic would be irresistible to an enemy scout team. We will search. I am not hopeful. I have finished here. Our last destination is ahead. The Deep Cradle. What's wrong? Is it the missing commandos? No. I... I must think. We leave. You cannot. The lands near the cradle are corrupted. The nightmare lands. Do you mean these lands have been damaged somehow? Men go mad there. There are protective rituals. Talon Day at the commando outpost will guide. We shall go. You both shall promise. Goodbye. Jedi, a question. No need to ask permission, Gaiden Co. What is it? Jenar says commandos were the sign to guide me. The sign came without a vision. You need no visions. Do visions mark my people as special? Or needing guidance? They may be your foundation, but you'd still have a civilization without visions. Intriguing. Great questions are for mystics, not potentials. This is new. Visions or not, your pilgrimage is certainly shaping you for a role. I may never be mystic, but I learn. I'd like to think about this myself, when we get back. Jedi, it's Sophia Farish, the Republic Ambassador. We spoke in Vaskar? It's good to hear your voice, Ambassador. I'm glad you're both alright. Hello, Gaiden Co. I heard what happened to your family. I'm so sorry. I seek its meaning. Jedi, of course Gaiden Co.'s pilgrimage is important. But I have a request. A Republic team has gone missing in that region. Our top archaeologist, Dr. Carrion, ignored the warnings and took an expedition into those nightmare lands. We haven't heard from him since. I will see what can be done. Thank you, Jedi. I was running out of options. I need a guide. Landmarks are... changed. The Deep Cradle hides. Dr. Carrion might know. Where was his team heading? He filed an expedition proposal with his chosen campsite. I'll send you the location now. Good luck. And please, don't take any risks out there. Whisper all you like, la la la. They gave me a palace on Alsacon. I'd prefer a ditch on Alderaan. Calm yourself. I am a Jedi Master. No harm will come to you. You're a real Jedi. I thought the madness had finally gotten to me. I'm Lefri, an excavator. The ritual saved me, but the team. Everything's gone wrong. Why didn't they attack you? I guess they still recognized me. They didn't do anything, just whispered over and over. The Voss said some ritual could protect us in the ruins. I figured, well, they'd know, so a Voss commando helped me do it. 
What Dr. Carrion said there wasn't time for everyone to see the native puppet show. He wanted to explore the Dark Heart. He sacrificed his whole team for impatience. The Dark Heart. A part is the Deep Cradle. Deep Cradle? Yes, that's the part of the ruin Dr. Carrion wanted to get into, but it's all sealed up. We spent days trying to open it, then suddenly the, the madness started. Dr. Carrion ran off, the others stayed and stared at me. No one deserves to suffer like that. I can't think about it. Only Dr. Carrion had any idea how to get the Deep Cradle open. I can't let you go after him. Please don't leave. I will be here. You'll stay? Okay. I'll track the doctor's locator, but he's, you know, not a person anymore. Though, if he still has his hollow journal, his field notes should be in there. This won't take long. If you can get his hollow journal, I'll play it for you. And hurry! We wait. Good, good, you're back. And so Dr. Carrion gave you his hollow journal after all? Unfortunately, I was forced to kill him. Dr. Carrion too, huh? Well, that makes his journal even more important. Let me see. Please don't be encrypted. Wandering off? This team's eccentricities are getting unbearable. The Deep Cradle's secrets should make up for it. It started like that. Here, the next entry's a few days later. Following me about, I led them here, and now they're... they're nameless. A switch. A little switch behind the Cradle's third stone. I can't think here. Where did I leave my study? Listen, he said switch. The Deep Cradle's secret. Its altars grant enlightenment. I don't want to leave Lefri here alone. No, I'm not going out there again. Jedi, you can't leave! Maybe I can send a distress signal, but how long before I'm rescued? And what if the ritual wears off? The Deep Cradle isn't going anywhere. We'll stay here until rescue arrives. You do that for me? <laughs> Thank you. I'll send the signal right now. And then, one night, there was this sort of crackling noise to the east. But whenever we got up, it, it went quiet again. Actually, these lands remind me a bit of the forests back home. Only worse. Hello? We got a distress call and... Are you the only survivors? There was an incident. And Dr. Carrion's team is gone. This man needs escorting home. He'll be safe with us, Master Jedi. Wait. Here. I, I found this near the Deep Cradle. It, it looks kind of valuable. Take it. Please. I have no need of such things. Then give it to your order or something. Goodbye. Thanks for everything. You show great patience. Be sure of the path. Then call. I follow. Altars. I meditate for enlightenment. Any nesting beasts will wake. You'll be perfectly safe with me. Inside, my journey's end. Before my rescue. Whoever it looks like, this isn't really your grandfather. 
My memories are real. Talons in my flesh, Gaiden Co. My breath fading. My last thought, failure. Grandfather, stop! Hope remains. We sprang from this deep cradle. The altars root us. Life, death, duty. Here, all is possible. Ask, and life returns. Your parents, sister, cousins, myself, returned. Shall it be? These lands are corrupted. This apparition could be lying. I... My family... No. I must accept. Learn from what is necessary. I cannot be selfish. You shoulder a mystic's burden. Willingly. Training ends, Gaiden Co. Grandfather, your death. I do not understand. It will take your life to understand, Jedi. Your protection made this possible. I feel there is much I could learn from you. I offer truth. One question to guide you. Ask. Can you tell me who the First Son is? The First Son stands always behind you. He begins, does not end. Wait, you can't just leave it at that. A small token, hidden. To ease suffering, it is yours. Darkness lingers. Healing must begin, Jedi. Seek the Divide. Gate and Co. Farewell. Grandfather. I will. Jedi, wait. I see. The world is different. Beautiful. A vision. I am a mystic. Your vision. What was it? Two suns, one alight, the other dead. A mountain to the stars. The three must know. Then, to Vaska. Welcome, Jedi. I am Sun V of the Three. This is a joyous day. The interpreters speak. Gaidenko's vision is genuine. Aiden Co., we ordain you mystic. Be always wise. The completion of training marks a beginning, not an end. I will remember. Gaiden Co.'s entourage grows. Interpreters await. Healers travel from the shrine. Jen Arce volunteers to lead his guardians. Has Gaiden Co.'s vision been interpreted? The interpreters speak. Gaiden Co.'s vision is clear, unusually so. He must see your force, both sides. He cannot learn here. Gaiden Co. must travel with you. If he is willing, Gaiden Co. is certainly welcome aboard my ship. I will see the galaxy that made you. We gain a mystic, now lose him to the outsiders. I am not lost. I will remain neutral. So should Vaska. Not Empire nor Republic. Not yet. Observe us both, then. Our actions will speak for us. We await your learnings, Gate and Co. Carry Voss with you. Always. I shall. Please, I must greet my entourage. Call when we leave. Hello again, Jedi. I managed to get away from the Embassy for a minute. Gate and Co., congratulations. I knew you could do it. And now you're leaving? Gaiden Co. may lead his people into the galaxy. And the Republic. What a wonderful idea. But I'm afraid I can't allow it. My friend, Sophia? It's all right, Gaiden Co. Your true destiny is just beginning. When the Jedi is dead, I'll explain everything. You're... stronger than you look. I understand now. 
You're one of the Emperor's children, like Blasus. I bear that honor, yes. I intended the pilgrimage to truly test Gaiden Ko. Power or death, hopefully yours. The first son will kill me for failing. But it doesn't matter. I've known the perfect enlightenment of serving the Emperor. Come with me. Let me save you from him. But who will save you? You don't know who the first son is. I'll share a little secret. Neither does he. You see, Jedi, some children never know their true nature. They sleepwalk through life until the <sighs> Emperor wakes them. The first son serves the Emperor, then returns to normal, unaware. A politician? A soldier? Maybe one of your allies. Keep going. Tell me everything about him. I thought Jedi learned to be content with what you have. I trusted. I am betrayed. I'm sorry, Gaiden Ko. I wanted to see you exalted at the Emperor's right hand. But you chose the Republic. I can't save you. We heard battle. The door was barred. Gate and Co. Honored one. Are you well? I am well, thank you. This woman needs to be taken into custody. We have had no Sith prisoners. Her fate is sealed. What's the penalty for endangering a mystic's safety? She leaves Voskar. Jenner say, you can't let her get away with this. She takes the step of harmony, down from the mountain, leaves Voskar forever. Jenner say, throwing someone to their death is barbaric. It is the law. She knew. Yes, I did. Enjoy your moment of victory, Jedi. It will be fleeting. We return when all is done. Masse Mele. A soren bell is mending Sajana. What he means is, on behalf of the Republic, we welcome you. And your very impressive entourage. Thank you. I have three interpreters, seven healers, sixty commandos. Voss commandos are crack infantry and scouts. And with those healers, they'll be unstoppable. We fight the Sith. I will learn. My vision will guide. Jik inter, nebeg dressed pasiat dan ilbi for cost in pain. What about this first son, Jedi? Has anything new turned up? The ambassador you sent me to meet was actually a child of the Emperor. You're joking. Sophia Forrest? But I've known her since. <sighs> well, I'll pass on the news. I'm sorry to interrupt. Master Sio's hosting a war council. He said you should join in right away. Welcome everyone. Supreme Chancellor, may I present our new allies. I greet you, Gideko, and have a voice. The Empire threatens our core worlds, and your strength will be vital in the days ahead. The core worlds founded the Republic we defend. They are centers of government and commerce. Our society would crumble without them. Now an Imperial fleet is en route to one of these besieged worlds, Corellia, carrying thousands of reinforcements. That fleet must never arrive. We are at your command. We're ready to be of service, Supreme Chancellor. The Imperial fleet is protected by a dreadnought, the Javelin. Without it, we could scatter them easily. A functional dreadnought would be a huge asset in defending the core worlds. I need you and your alliance to capture the Javelin. I hope you have a plan in mind for this. Your smaller force should help you to slip through the defenses, board the Javelin, and force the Captain's surrender. I must go. I leave this vital task in your capable hands. Good luck. Jedi, you have a rational mind. You know trying to capture a Dreadnought with the forces we have is utter insanity. If we remain true to our mission, and to the Force. We cannot fail. Of course. I can't imagine how that slipped my mind. To begin, our ships distract the Javelin. You board. A fleet that size needs coordination. Jamming the Javelin's signals will put them in disarray. 
It might buy us enough time. Taking a dreadnought is a day's work. We should go along. Me, Theron, Kaizen, everyone. We each take a few Voss commandos and our holo communicator. You head for the bridge. We split up and get the other sections under control. This mission will need all of us to stand any chance of success. Rock your hood, Scantalis, or Largorsk. Excellent. If you have this in hand, I shall go. Corellia's defenders would benefit from my help. May the Force be with you all. We're in the network room. Breaking Imperial coding makes me all tingly. Zenith sneaked off to security. I imagine he knows what to do with an Imperial security system. Ta-ta for now. Hold on, Jedi. Security system's being stubborn. Done. I'll watch for any more. Zenith out. <laughs> Oh, greetings, Master Jedi. All parameters are met. My work can finally be demonstrated. I have a bad feeling about this. Obey my standard orders, I've seeded this vessel with detonite huh? charges. These charges are sufficient to destroy the javelin, its occupants, and nearby vessels. I apologize for any inconvenience caused. That explosion could wipe out all our ships, and the Eshka. Oh, don't worry, Master Jedi. You'll be dead before then. I have placed multiple detonite charges in mathematically precise positions. All Imperial vessels have been signaled to withdraw, as the countdown has begun. The Empire is willing to sacrifice a whole dreadnought just to trap us? I should feel flattered. By my calculations, even if dozens of the charges are disarmed, it is now impossible to prevent the Javelin's destruction. I'm going to enjoy proving you wrong. Now tell me where to find those charges. There are charges on all main coolant regulation systems to ensure complete destruction. I'll alert the others. We'll need everybody to get those bombs disarmed. You and I can take care of the charges nearby, and trust the others to reach the rest in time. A shame my accomplishment will soon be superheated vapor, but such is the nature of demolition work. Good day. Warning. Coolant regulation system ignited. Catastrophic structural integrity failure has begun. Destruction of the channel is imminent. Please evacuate immediately. Repeat. Please evacuate immediately. Jedi, are you there? Something exploded near the tactical stations, but we don't know what's happening. Hello, voice. Was the fleet caught in that explosion? Me bag address past the actan albin as for costinti. Everything's shaking. We're getting back to the ship. But no, I can't. Go without me, Jedi. I have to stay just for a few minutes. The crew was trying to destroy these tactical stations. I think they were hiding something. I'm going to download everything I can. Will you be able to reach the ship in time? I... I don't think so. This deck doesn't feel safe. Wait! We passed a row of escape pods. I can pilot one out. Or point it at Corellia's surface or something. I have a duty to keep you safe. You have a whole galaxy to keep safe. I'll make you proud, Master. Please, the hangar won't be safe for long. Go on. I'll see you on Corellia. Toria, I have no far yet. Zinius Jur Drukal Jasbru. Lihida Naka Miest Hija. Is he utterly oblivious to the loss of our dear Nadia? We're going after her as soon as we can. We think the pod was caught in an automated landing system for Coronet City's shipyards. So it's probably there. Somewhere. To Corellia. To search. And to war. <laughs> 